<laughs> ah, cheers! <laughs> I wish I'd thought of that. <laughs> uh, we well, should do a political show after this. We can think about it. Yeah, why not? <laughs> you know, because the debates happen tonight. I, I didn't even watch it. So damn busy today. God. Uh, no, I, I didn't even watch the Google announcement. And I, I can't watch the debate because I'm giving up my TV. I need to get an early air antenna so I can watch that stuff. <laughs> Alright, so we're on Google. Google to raise Siri and checkbook or anyone's return. Like I said in the other show, I, I, Google or Android is the home of, of uh, dictative command. Oh, no, no, no. They, they got it better. They have a universal I, translator application. You can yeah. talk, and it will translate to the language for the other person, and vice versa. Like yeah. somebody could talk at me in Mandarin, and I can hear it in English. Yeah, my, my, I think it was Microsoft, and I believe wasn't it Google that partnered with them? They were doing that uh, Chinese, the Chinese English language experiment, and it tra I, I remember yeah. watching something on that. I can't remember, but uh, Android to me is still the home of, uh, you know, uh, I guess what was it, audio dictation. Um, it is Siri is pretty cool, but like I said in the other video, I'm not interested in feedback. No, I, 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 I'm sorry. Thing for, saying, for me oh, to... I don't understand or... Oh, oh, yeah, I'm sorry, but for me to finally have Gene Roddenberry's translator, you know, it's like... And, uh, 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 it's like, and they just hear it. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah. i like, no, dude. It's like Star Trek is now the inspiration for all modern technology. Wait, 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 wait. Let's be very clear, though. And they do this purposely in Star Trek. And even Babylon 5 in my show. They have the, the computer where you acknowledge it uh, and it responds and gives you command and it's straight out. It doesn't give you smart ass comments or stupid feedbacks or in other words, the the, the 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 crew members don't even think to say, I love you, Siri, or some stupid shit like that, that I'm seeing on the internet and all this other crap. That's total worthless gimmick shit. That's it's like worthlessness to me. And but what's funny is that both Star Trek and Babylon Five and other shows that have AI computers off of oral commands, don't do they not create shows where the, the the ship's computer develops a personality by some weird accident accident or something like that and then becomes more human and creates a personality to respond to and the whole purpose of the show is to turn it off. Exactly. <laughs> Gene Roddenberry told us this is a I, bad I, idea. From that, from that learn from that take <laughs> bullshit side of Siri, off. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, you know, I still, not since everything's coming from Star Trek now, I want to know where my damn Heisenberg compensators and damn inertial dampeners are. But, <laughs> where are they, damn it? <laughs> I was glad, you know, Netflix just released, uh, not just, but it's been now for a little bit, Recently, uh, Deep Space Nine. That's one of my favorite Star Trek. Oh yeah, no, it's been on streaming for a while now. <laughs> I love watching that. I, I've been catching up on it here. <laughs> it's like I've been catching up on a lot of the old old sci-fi crap. No Babylon. I haven't. I feel bad. They have Firefly, but I don't think they actually have Babylon Five on here. It's not on streaming. Yeah, they make not, man. God, that's... It, no, yeah, it's, they have the DVDs, but not on streaming. I'm like. Writing, yeah, nothing compares to the writing of that one. No. Yeah. Well, that's because they wrote a one million year timeline out. I mean, that's. Yeah, that's what's brilliant in that. I, I, nothing to this day comes close to Babylon 5. Nothing. So that's just. I, 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 and I look forward to a show or, or something that has the depth. The philosophy, the emotion, the logic, um, the fantasy, everything is in, I don't know, I can't, it's too many, too much to describe Babylon 5 that I look forward to another show being able to unseat Babylon 5 as, as my number one. Well, they wanted to continue that Bible, unfortunately, sci-fi. GMS, every... GMS was not ready for that. No, like no. But the... I think it became more of a, a Star Trek. Yeah, te television's not ready for that because you're actually telling a story where the plot is more important than the special effects and the tools with which you tell it. That's, exactly. yeah, that's, I'm sorry, that's not the way we do that genre right now. Exactly, and JMS pulled off, which a lot of people don't understand, is that he pulled off a, a triumphant feat in being able to maintain control of the show for five years. He, he 
had the plan and had um, alternative backups in case there were certain failures in the production of the show. But he was interviewed and said he waited so many years to bring that Bob Five until he had the clout that he wanted in order to maintain and control the show. And even in that, of course, we know that it, it went from uh, from network to network. True story. My parents have satellite or had. Now they're on different something else. But my parents were introduced to cable TV for the first time in their lives when I purchased when I purchased satellite TV in order to get that on five. <laughs> yeah, because year five wound up on, as well as the third space movie and the yeah. other ones. Oh, yeah, those yeah, were, I mean, yeah. It was just, yeah. But, oh, we are so off topic. That's <laughs> okay. <laughs> but it, you know what? It's a good topic. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> oh, okay. Right, as is dead, I never got on Google Buzz. I don't know much about it. And I don't know what to do with Google+. Plus. I honestly, somebody needs to tell me what to do. I, I, I've joined it, and I've got a few people in my circles, but now I'm bored. Yeah, yeah. What well, you're you're supposed to tweet. Oh. That's what it. That's what it is. It, it it's an interactive Twitter, uh, with better feed control. I, I you know, <laughs> I, Twitter is my favorite social platform. It's like in and out. It limits to you what you can say, and you're done. God, I love Twitter. You know, it's so efficient, quick. None of this. There's no magical eggs and cows and farms and ma mafia battles or any of that shit. <laughs> Just you get to say what the hell you want to say and get the fuck out. I'm like that. That's my personality. I, you, 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 well, no, you. Here's the thing. Yeah. Here, I want to get in, get out, leave me alone, done. That's at at, at the end of the day, what Google Plus is is that for people who want that. And then it, it has the flying birds and the cows in the Farmville for people who want that, too. So. I know. I mean, I already, look, my wife likes to play that farm game. But you know, the, the, uh, the Google Plus looks interesting to me. I'm just not sure where, where to go with it right now. You know what I need to do? I need to have, and maybe you can tell me, I need a software. I, I, I want a software, and maybe I have to program it myself, I guess, but I want a software that can manage multiple Twitter accounts and then like add Google Plus to it so that I write once and it pushes to many. There's a plugin for Chrome or Chromium that will let you retweet what you do through Google Plus uh, but the Google but Plus API is a little underdeveloped right now so the yeah. yeah I, I like the user interface of Google Plus. And the circles are a, a little bit different thing, and, and it lets you control how you want to organize things, and it lets you control what you want to see and what you don't want to see, which is really neat. That's um, the use. The other, th th that and the fact that, like, I have people who are adding me to Google+, Plus, and I don't know who they are, but rather than be mean and, like, give them the fourth degree, I've created a circle. Who the hell is this? And I just add them to that. But it's 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 auto muted until I know who they are. And right, 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 right. Okay. What about what about you, Dark? What do you think? Dark, Bob. We put him to sleep. Yeah. Oh. Stupid microphone. Um, Google Plus. <laughs> it's an interesting product. Um, I find myself. I use it about as much as I do Facebook in that it's more of who I actually know though. It's more, it seems right now because of where it's at, it's more what you say matters more on Google Plus to me. Okay. Yeah. Um, I, I what are you on Facebook for? Family, friends? Is, is, are you on Facebook because the people you network with are on Facebook? Exactly. To me, the, the networking on Facebook is it gets to the point where it's kind of like the MySpace friends after a while. It just doesn't matter. <laughs> and, you know, it, it gets to that point, and after a while, you kind of start losing track of threads and comments. And, you know, it just, to me, Google Plus is a little more 
it's more refined on some things like uh, I like the circles aspect that they have of organizing for friends and I think it gave Facebook a kick in the pants is really what it did to me well and Facebook has added a lot of features as a response to that they've tweaked some pre-existing features yeah see but here's my take I will use neither for Marcel Mr. Bit is fine the problem that I have with both models is that the content is not yours it is subject to other exponential sets of laws because it resides somewhere else. You, you, you need to take a look at dysphoria. Well, you, you, didn't we have a show on that species where I was discussing the model of how content, we were talking about peer-to-peer, -peer, you know, hosting, and, and we don't need to rehash that. But until there is a social networking apparatus that the content resides, in, if it means that I have to turn on personal sharing for a folder on my home computer, I'll do it. But I refuse to participate personally. Marcel does, will not participate in any social arena to where the ownership of content comes into question. No, that that's the whole point behind this for Because I can't, I can't, I'm not going to say personal no, things. No, no, bit. And things like that to my, to my aunt, even if she's on Facebook, or my brother, or whatever. I refuse oh, to... Oh, okay, you're not talking about ownership. You're talking about privacy. No, ownership and privacy. Okay. Ownership Because the whole point... Anything that I say, anything that I say, or put in terms of photos, does not reside on my own home computer. It resides on Facebook's computers. And therefore, can be subject to another set of laws without a whole lot of control where I can intervene in it if, if, if some sort of issue would come up. You should take a look at Join Dysphoria. The whole idea, the, uh, I mean, you're going to end that stuff. The whole idea behind Dysphoria is what you're talking about, allowing people to retain ownership of the content. Now, it's not what you're talking about where, you, you, like, the data is hosted on your system, but... You well, it, let's put it this way. It could be an ISP model where Facebook leases me that under certain property rights, and then, therefore, the laws would require a subpoena. Not a universal subpoena, but a specific for saying, well, that's their property, and, like I said, I would rather... Actually, you know, I want to take that back. I don't want the law, because we were discussing, what were we were discussing before where, uh, oh yes, we're just saying AT&T and all these other guys are going to participate and shut you down, shut down your internet bandwidth. Yeah. I don't like the supply side of things on that. If the law has a problem, you need to address me as any, as, as any other apparatus of the law would. If it's civil or criminal, they come to me. They don't go to X, Y, and Z to punish me. They come to me. Yeah. And that's how I want the content that I own. I don't care. Even if it's harmless and I, pu I publish pictures of my kids or, or say fun things or whatever, it bugs the living crap out of me that the property of that comes into question. I have, that's a big stickler. Well, no, and that, that's, that is the, the whole the point. About it, but that, to me, property is everything to me. Well, no, like you, you, you should take a look. You should take a look at dysphoria. That's the whole point of it. The point of it is, it's your property. You retain ownership. You can back up. You can delete. You can, it's yours. No ownership questionality at all. That's the whole idea behind the way they set that up. So what you're talking about does exist. It's just, it's a, it's a niche for people who care about it. On Facebook, I can shut down my entire thing and just make just friends view it. Uh, right. yeah, yeah, but you know that that's something we did, we played around with, and we tried that on Google Plus too. And the reality is, uh, once it's out there, it's out there, and people can do things with it. You know? Yeah, I know, I know, and, and that's why I said right now, Marcel will not have a social anything other than my own family blog, which I own and publish it. <laughs> but not on, on any type of uh, 
social network. But and I mean, I'm not really Google Plusing. I I don't. You know, the problem with things like Google Plus and Twitter is I've never had the self, you know, the ego to go. Well, you care so much about us. Occasionally, something so what the f- what the f will come up, and I will just all right. Let me rant, internet. <laughs> it's like exactly. aside from that. Yeah. But anything like Mr. Bid or things they like that I obviously make videos that are not my content or something to YouTube, but I have no problem with it. Uh, you know, I have a motorcycle blog channel now, too. And, and, I, I, and I discuss political views. And I have no problem with the ownership of that. But that's just me talking on a soapbox where I could go to Boston Square and, and stand on a car, you know, on, on, on a crate. On and a cop would come to you and ask you, yeah, where's, your, where's your soapbox permit? <laughs> you know, I have no problem speaking that kind of thing. But when it comes to sharing, like Facebook, when you get friends and all kinds of things, and you make, I mean, there's too much exchange of really uh, everything about you that we all, in certain aspects, want control over. That's why we worry about identity theft, and a lot of people don't even pay their bills online. They won't even purchase things online because they're worried so much about their property being taken from them. Or, uh, and that's I know, gets into the criminal side of things of, of, of somebody maliciously taking it. But, uh, again, my, my sticking point is, is it's, it's mine, damn it. And uh, if you want to pay me, uh, or if you, want to pay me. If, if you need me to pay you uh, to have that space on a lease agreement that states it's my property, and therefore if there's a problem of any sorts, the laws need to come to me to, to do anything about it. Uh, I'm cool with it. I would pay that. I would pay that money to that social network to make make my area mine. Well, no, it's like the argument all these people make. Well, we don't want the liability. Well, then shift it to me. <laughs> it's like I'm the one shooting my mouth off anyways. <laughs> you know? <laughs> but you know what would happen, I think? The reason, I think the reason is, and, 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 and perhaps that's just my philosophy of things. I'm not as out, I'm very outgoing, personally face to face. But I, I just, it's been argued to me that, well, a social network in the way that you want it would work. Because the point of it is to get as many people on there as possible and just make it a reality TV yes. show. In other words, because people like to watch other people's lives, right? That's the whole point of reality TV in itself. I, that, you know, personally, I would be glad if reality TV just went poof. Exactly. You realize, you realize I haven't seen one episode of American Idol, one episode of... Uh, Welcome to the club. I'm another one of those. I have no idea what to do. I know I, I know of these names because when I when I go on a coffee break or something like that at my work, it's all these people talk about, and they look at me and ask me, and my eyes glaze over. <laughs> but they laugh at me too. They, I get laughed. That's at their me. problem. <laughs> and I'm like, you know, my famous quote is, "You have know, anything pertinent." I, 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 I could say the same thing for Survivor. Unfortunately, I was at somebody's house when one of the up-team bajillion finales was going on, and they would not let anybody change the channel. They were, like, hoarding the remote. Going, no, we want Survivor! I'm like, fine. <laughs> it's like so, yeah. <laughs> I mean, to Easter, though, I always say, that, you know, hey, that's fine. That's what entertains them, but it gets under my skin if I get laughed at or ridiculed because I don't watch dancing with whoever or whatever the hell it is. Um, to me, it's like, that is such worthless information that... I, you know what? They don't laugh, I don't care. <laughs> no, the laughing at me is not what bugs me. It's the condescending... It's the same, it's the same reverse world. It's the same condescension that geeks have for the other people that idolize jobs. It's fine, you know, I, I, I have tons of uh, statements to say that downplay iOS and all that stuff. It doesn't mean that but it doesn't mean that I'm going to downgrade the individual and say, well, you're just a worthless piece of shit. And just because you, you own an iPhone that, that can't make phone calls and all you do is game on it, fine. That's what you want to do. But I don't sit there and want to be condescending and laugh maliciously at that person. 
I, that's an aspect of humanity I've never been able to comprehend. You know, a, a, elitism or that, that's not, that, that's not even elitism. That's just snobism. You know, that's, I've never understood it. It's I know it happens. But isn't that the point of reality show? The reason why people love reality shows is that they want to know that people are more miserable than they are. It, it, and that's not something I've ever really found pleasure or comfort or anything. Yeah, that's it's like Jimmy Springer and all that. Why they get so successful? Because people like to watch and know that there are people worse off than they are. <laughs> One of so, many so, things so, that's so, wrong with me. I'm not wired that way. <laughs> yeah, I, I, not, I did not come up with that. Somebody told me that. And it was uh, some because I work in behavioral health. You know, and I program for. And some doctor, I think some some doctor told me that. And I was like, wow. He's a big, it's just, it's just, anyway. Yeah, it's one of the baser instincts, and I'm like, there must be something wrong with me, because I legitimately don't have that one. <laughs> yep. So let's conclude Tech Babble, and we'll do our political show. Uh, all right, I just added you to my running list, so let me put a passion there.